Hello friends, welcome back. Guys, in this video, we'll talk about one of the very important Java interview question. So this is going to be the first question, but the interviewer can make this particular question more complex. So we'll talk about the complex version in the next video. So guys, in this video, we'll look into three problems based on this particular question, right? So basically the question is convert list into map. So basically you will be given a list of employees or list of students, right? And then we need to convert that list into map, right? So this is the basic question, but then there are a couple of things that interview can ask you to do on top of it, okay? So all right guys, that being said, let's begin the video. So guys, here the task is to convert a list of employees into map. Okay, so very first thing we'll go and we'll create a list of employees and then we'll convert that list of employees into a map by using Java 8 stream functions. All right guys, so let me start the ID. So here we are, I'm going to first create an employee class where we'll have certain attributes. Okay, so I'm going to create employee class. Okay, and here in the employee class, I'm going to put three attributes. All right, all right guys. Now employee can have, it can have employee ID. Okay employee can have a name right and then last attribute we're gonna have is string type value and let's call it department employee department okay so basically we have got three attribute employee id employee name and department in our employee class now we have to go and generate the getter setters let's do that quickly and we are also going to have a constructor okay so we are going to create a parameterized constructor all right guys so here we are done with our class simple nothing much complex now guys, we are going to create another class where we'll be writing our logic, okay? So what are we going to do is, we'll convert employee list to map, okay? You can give it a better name. Let's go and create the main method as well. So this is our class, right? Now guys, as I said, very first thing is to create a list of employees, okay? That is what we want to do, very first thing. We need to have set of employees, right? So what I will do here, let's create a list of employee first, employee let's call it emp list only equals to now as here i'm using arrays dot edge list function to create the list of employees let's go and import the java dot util dot package all right now guys here i'll pause for a moment so that i can add some employees to our employee list okay all right guys so basically here i have added couple of employees to our employee list right so basically like employee id one employee name is karazura c works at do then we have next employee, employee ID 2, Alex Danvers. She also works at DEO. And then last employee is Lena Luther. She works at Luther Corp. Okay, so basically we have got six employees in our employee list, right? So if I have to print, I can simply use sysout. Simple, right? Now if I run, I'll have six employees printed on my console. Okay, because there is no two string function. So let's go and create here quickly. Generate two string with all the elements. Save and let's go and run our program okay guys now here i can see the list of employees employee one two three and all okay so here we are good now guys here our task is to convert list into map okay now guys the primary requirement for a map is to have a key and value right so say for example the interviewer can ask you please take employee id as the key right and in value you use the employee name simple right so let's start writing the code so i'll take the list employee list I'm going to call the stream function to convert into a stream or to generate a stream. Okay. Now guys here, I'm going to call a function called collect. This is the function from the Java 8 stream API. Collect right here. I have to pass collectors dot. So this particular class collectors has a, has a function called to map. Okay. Now guys, as you can see, there are multiple variants of this particular function. So I'll take the very first one to map hit enter. Now guys, what do you see here? We have to supply two parameters. One is going to be the key mapper. Second is going to be the value. Okay. So basically we have to pass which attribute is going to be your key, which attribute is going to be value. Okay. So the requirement is here is key is going to be the employee ID and value is going to be the employee name. Okay. So what I will do here, I'll take the employee class. I'm using method reference and I'm calling a function called get emp. Okay. Sorry. I made a mistake. Employee, employee class. Okay. So I'm calling get employee ID function from the employee class by using method reference. Okay. I'll do here same thing from the employee class. I'll use method reference and I'll call get name simple. Now we need to store this map, right? Now I know that our map is going to have integer is the key because employee ID is an integer 
and the value is going to be a string type value okay and then i'll call it employee map simple thing what do you see now it's giving me an error so let's go and import the java dot util okay now there is nothing wrong right now let's go and print the map let me just run our program let's see the result so guys what do you see you have got your map having key and value so key is employee id and then employee name so employee id is one name is karazural id is two name is alex danris id is three name is jimmy olson that you can match here as well right so for example employee id five and employee name is andrea rojas so employee id is five and name is andrea rojas right so our task is done here we have successfully converted our list into a map okay so what we did here is basically here we have used to map function of the collectors class okay and then here we have passed the key mapper and the value mapper right guys so this is cool now next thing the interviewer can ask you can you print can you print value only value from the map okay so now here i have printed the complete map the question is can you print only values from the map how can you do that okay so guys what i will do because i know our employee is a map right i'll take employee map dot i'm going to call a function called entry set so if you guys remember entry set will have the key and value pair remember entry set dot now here i'm going to call for each function if you look at it here for each function is expecting a consumer okay so i'll take this consumer and e sys out e dot i'm calling say we just have to print the value only so i'll call get value function okay let's go and run our program so guys here i have got the list of values so basically value is employee names okay karazoral alex janris jimmy olson nian and all all right so far we are good if you want to print the key as well what you can do is you can simply use e dot get key function so this is how you can do that if i run this one it will print key and value let me just make it big for you guys so this is key and value pair okay now guys next question employer can ask can you create a map but this time take the name as the key okay and department as the value right if you look at it here in this example we have used employee id as the key and employee name as the value but now the requirement has been changed so let's do that so what i will do i will use again employee list okay let's go and convert into a stream right and then guys will be calling the same function dot collect collectors dot to map function right and then we have to pass the what key and value so key is going to be this time from the employee class I'm using the method reference and get name. Name is going to be the key. So from the employee class, I'm using method reference to call get department function. Okay. Now guys, this time I will simply print the values here only. I'm going to print the key and value pair here, right? So this for each function, if you look at it here, this is expecting me to pass a by consumer. Okay. So by consumer is you are going to supply two arguments. So one is key, second one is value, right? And what I will do here, I'll call sys out okay so here simple right so what i'm doing is here we have converted our list into a stream then we have called the dot collect function in the dot collect function we have passed collectors dot to map function right and here we have supplied the key mapper and the value mapper all right and here we have used a for each function but this time this for each function is taking a by consumers right control c let me run this one let's see the result what comes out okay so guys here you can see the result karazural works at deu alex danris works at deu nianal works at catco media jimmy olson works at catco media right so all good now guys next problem what if you have duplicate elements in your list you know list can have duplicate elements but map cannot have duplicate keys you know that right so let's say we are going to add one more employee say for example nianal used to work for catco media but later she started working for do okay so now basically we have a duplicate element so list can have a duplicate element let's go and run our program let's see the result how it behaves at the moment when we have duplicate key okay so let me run our program so what i will do i'll first comment out all this okay so in our list we have got duplicate element there is one element one employee which is duplicate nianal okay now you know that your list can have duplicate values but map cannot have let's see the behavior how it behaves at the moment what do you see now you have golden error saying duplicate key right because we know map cannot have a duplicate key right 
so this is a problem now how can you handle this situation what i will do now i'll comment out this particular person here because it will give me an error because now we have got duplicate employees in our list so guys again what i will do i'll take our employee list again i'm going to call the same stream function to convert into a stream or to generate a stream of employees now again i'll take the collect function right and then i'm going to use collectors from this class i'll call to map function now guys as i told you there are multiple variants of to map right so we have already used the first one where we have two arguments one is key mapper second one is value mapper but guys if you look at the second option what do you see here you have got key mapper the next argument is value mapper and then you have got a merger function okay so let me click on this one all right so right what do we have we have got key mapper value mapper and a merger function okay so now guys our requirement is still same we have key is going to be the employee name value is going to be the department now we know that key is duplicate nianal is here also and nianal is here also right so let's see so we'll use the key as employee method reference get name is our key value mapper department is going to be the value colon get department right okay and merger i will write here so merger what it does it takes two arguments one is old value one is old value comma new value right and now here you have to decide which value you want to pick new or old so let's say that i want to choose old value okay so this is good now we have to print as well so i'll copy the for each as it is from here simple right so basically what we did this time we have used key mapper value mapper and a merger function so here this merger function has two values old value and the new value and uh, here we are printing old value okay so let's see the behavior how it behaves at the moment so let's go and look for nianel what do you see nianel works at catco media guys if you go back to our list here we know that nianel used to work for catco media right but now in the new entry, Nianel works at DEO. But what I'm getting that Nianel works at Catco Media, right? Why? Because if you go to your merger function here, we have opted the old value that we want to keep the old value as a result. Okay. But let's go and change it to new value and let's see the behavior, how it behaves now. Run as Java application. Now, what do you see? Nianel works at DEO. So if you go and check this one out here, Nianel is currently working with DEO, right? So this is up to your requirement that which result you want to have whether you want to keep the old value or you want to have the new value all right guys i hope i am making some sense here guys so guys here we have discussed the basic questions on list to map right but interviewer can make this particular question more complex and that we'll see in the next video thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel